time you looked out there, you were out there. Is that what your way of saying, I'm good and ready to go and meet and take all the reps you need? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I feel like if, uh, if I'm a, one of those guys who needs to be an example for those young, young guys, you know, for the rookies, um, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, uh, I'm tired, but uh, the, the best way to, to prevent the jet lag is to practice. So, uh, you know, I went through the whole practice. Um, I felt a little bit tired, but, um, um, you know, not, now it's a nap time, so I'm going to have a good nap. Is this the best you've ever felt going into a camp after the tournament you were just in? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, mentally-wise, um, of course, uh, when you're winning games, you, you feel uh, invincible. You know, you feel you can beat anybody. And, um, you know, uh, I feel like that right now. Um, you know, still, of course, it's uh, pretty a little bit too soon to say, you know, it's first day of training camp, but, um, you know, the team is looking good, everybody's working hard, and uh, we're going to the right direction. Any anyone in particular, whether it's a new guy or a former, or, you know, one of your teammates from before, um, anyone kind of impressed you or kind of shocked you? Kind of Whitey, Whitey did. Um, I mean, he was dunking the ball, dunking over people. Um, you know, you can see in his face that he's really embraced his role, that he's really you know, the force of this team, and uh, then um, Kelly, Kelly, he really can play, you know, he can do mul multiple things, he can put ball on the floor, um, he showed us a couple of great passes, and um, yeah, those two guys. Cool said, beyond the league, uh, told us yesterday about still feeling his ankle a little bit, but the 7-Eleven, the 7-Eleven, <laughs> it's really, really the open right now, or what is it? You know, now it's, uh, of course, this is the first day that we open. You know, this is the first day of training camp. So, um, yeah, we open. Uh, he looks amazing. I mean, um, you know, his ability to break down people and to explode. He always had that, and um, I didn't even see nothing that like maybe he's feeling a little bit ankle. But when you watch him, you know, he's uh, all the end. So even though there's a lot of guys coming back this year. The rotation still feels a little undecided, especially because you had injuries, so there's guys coming back, there's new guys. But all, with so many guys who can make plays with the ball in their hands, yeah. is it going to be important to find, rotation-wise, the right balance of ball handlers and then guys who can play off the ball? Uh, yeah, definitely. But at, at the same time, it's good to have multiple ball handlers. You know, sometimes, um, um, you know, you can, you can explore who is the weakest link in defense mm -hmm. in, in the opponent's team, so you can attack him. And, um, you know, of course, um, Spo going to decide who gonna, what kind of rotation we're going to have. But, um, you know, um, everybody's comfortable with that. You know, we, we trust Spo. We, he already proven what kind of coach he is. And we, we, we trust um, his system and all, everybody's in. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're starting the game or you're coming the bench as long as we're winning. That's the most important thing. Does it feel like you have to learn anything new this year, or are you kind of hitting the ground running as far as scheme and all that? You know, the scheme is all the same. You just, uh, you know, just a repetition. Um, it's a little bit different, you know. I, right now, I was two months uh, with my national team. Of course, you have different systems, different coverages. But, um, um, you know, after five, ten minutes, you get that memory back, you know, from last year. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's easy for me right now. Thank you guys.